Hello, in this video, I will show you how to retrieve attachments using MailKit from your emails. This will follow the previous example from the previous video where I show you how to retrieve the folders from your email in C Sharp using MailKit and then getting the email and reading the email properly. Now, uh, we had this previously, we had the folders, right? So double click on the folder, we retrieve uh, the messages, we should pop up in this list. This is WPF example, which you can use it uh, anywhere else in C sharp, uh, which is easier to show you. And then we have these emails. Now in this case, I have this uh, test email with one attachment. Uh, the list doesn't really matter, it doesn't really show up properly, but uh, that's not the point here. If I double click on uh, the list, it will download the attachment. Now, the list actually contains uh, the file name, okay? So it contains a file name and that is how we will search for that specific file. I don't wanna get into the interface too much. Uh, this is again, not WPF specific. We're just using the WPF to sort of hold the code in and so that it would be easier for you to download and test and the code is available on Patreon as usual. So let's stop that and let's get into the code. Uh, the double click event uh, fires up this download attachment method and this is where we begin so just like anything else uh, we need to connect okay we need to connect authenticate and then we get uh, the message message id in this case we get and then we get the message now before we get the message you need to of course open the folder that was shown in the previous video and you should watch that if you need that information. Now, in this case, we will need a file stream or any stream into which you want to write the downloaded file, the downloaded attachment. The attachment can be anything, an image, PDF file, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It will be very easy to uh, sort of read, but you won't really find this properly documented in the documentation. And as you can see, the arrangement is rather tricky. We get the attachments from the attachments uh, list in a way. It's an enumerable, but let's call it a list. Okay, we have message. It comes from a message and that message contains the attachments. Now, if you want to find a specific attachment, you need to search by the file name. You could, of course, loop through the whole thing and download all of them. It depends on your use case, right? But in this case, what we are doing, we are simply looking for the attachment that is that specific file name, right? We have the file name selected and we use that. But as you can see, we loop through them, but I'm not using first or just getting a single thing from this list. I'm not doing that and you must not do that because that will not work. You will get a write to a sync method which will sort of uh, basically put the whole message into the stream. The whole attachment plus uh, the encoding of it. Uh, it will be a mess and it will be a corrupted file. It will not work. So instead, what you need to do is you need to loop through the attachments, loop through the attachments, go through every one of them, right? Or specific one. And then you need to see if the attachment, okay, in this cycle is something called mime part. You need mime part. That is what you actually read, okay? Then you need to cast the attachment See, the attachment is MIME entity, so you need to cast it. And only then you'll find access to content, and in turn, you'll find access to decode a sync. You see, you have to get to that MIME part, and that is the only way to actually get to it. You loop through attachments, you don't access some specific one, you loop through them, and you check for the one that is MIME part. And once you find that, you cast to that. If you cast the other ones, that will throw an exception. It will not work. So you need to make sure that that is mine part, the type of the attachment of this um, object rather, and then you cast it. And then you access the content and then you get the method decode to a sync. Then you provide the stream 
in the parameters. There's also a decode to version if you need that. And it will write the file. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now, after you write the file, of course, you need to dispose of it. Uh, and then we close the connection. So this is how it works. And again, you can download this code uh, from Patreon, only one euro, one dollar, uh, the lowest tier. And you also get one of my courses for free. You will be able to choose it uh, on the Confucian Solution Learning Platform and it will be provided to you. So it really is a good deal. The more expensive tiers will give you more courses. Uh, again, it's all a bargain. Most of them cost a lot more. More, so you get a lot from it. Uh, now do subscribe to this channel for more such videos and if you want to learn about integrating uh, the basic uh, implementation of the IMAP uh, with MailKit, take a look at my previous video that will show you all the basics. And with that said, we will conclude this video.